Hey guys, so I just want to give you a lecture, uh, a quick lecture on geologic time where we left off in our notes. So let's talk about this. So geologic time scale, it's a division of Earth's history based on life forms that were living during certain periods. So certain life forms, uh, for example, the dinosaurs were living during a certain period. Um, and therefore, once those dinosaurs went extinct, therefore, um, different time periods evolved. So we have our um, Cenozoic area, era, which we're currently in, our Mesozoic, and our Paleozoic, and then we have our Precambrian. All types of different life forms live during these environments, uh, or should not say environments, but these eras. Um, so keep in mind, that's how these eras or these divisions are broken up into, even these periods. Different organisms live during that time. Um, so that's how each one of the, that's how we have these lines breaking everything up. It's pretty much saying how, uh, what organisms live during that time. So separation equals change. So as they separate, some change happen. Some geologic event, some environmental change, um, and maybe even change in the life form, okay? So it's pretty much the record of Earth's history. Uh, names of time periods uh, don't change, but their boundaries can change. So the names are always going to stay the same, um, but maybe how long ago it was. And if you ever see this MYA, it means millions of years ago. Um, and you might even see one that says BYA. Um, that's billions of years ago. So names don't change, but when these periods or eras happen can change. Uh, how many millions of years ago, depending on maybe some evidence that they find. So an era is the longest span of time. So these are uh, the four eras that you're going to need to know. You're going to need to know the Cenozoic, the Mesozoic, the Paleozoic, and the Precambrian uh, era. Uh, the Precambrian is the oldest. Uh, it lasted quite a long time. Uh, next one is our Paleozoic was um, our next longest. Then we have our Mesozoic and then our Cenozoic. Cenozoic is our youngest, and that's the one that we're currently in now. Okay, so the life forms that uh, came into play was the Precambrian area, uh, which was microscopic life. Uh, the Paleozoic era was the age of the triboblites, which are these little things are kind of like shelled organisms. They're kind of ugly looking things. Mesozoic was the age of the reptiles. Um, Cenozoic era is the age of the mammals. So periods are defined uh, by the life forms that were abundant and eventually became extinct during that time, which the rock the, was the positive. So um, you can see that we have obviously our quaternary, tertiary, Cretaceous, Jurassic, Jurassic, Permian, um, Devonian, Silurian, Ordovician, uh, Cambrian, period. All different life forms were around during this time. Um, once these life forms became extinct, like the age of the dinosaurs right around here, um, pretty much a new period started. An epoch is a smaller division of time. Um, they're mostly used for the Cenozoic area. Um, it's pretty much, there's a greater um, fossil remains around there, so we can kind of break that time up into um, different organisms a little bit more because we have more um, record for fossils around this time because obviously Cenozoic is our earliest, so therefore that rock's getting laid first, so we can actually see these organisms a little bit earlier in time, so we have a little bit more knowledge about them. The Precambrian time uh, happened between 4.5 billion years ago and 550, or excuse me, 544 million years ago. It's by far the longest part of Earth's history. This is when Earth was kind of starting to develop, as we talked about in the earlier um, lecture about how life started to begin, how did this early atmosphere begin. Um, and little's known because of this time, because rock is 4 million years old, or excuse me, 4 billion years old, um, and usually the rock cycle um, would have com fully completed um, during that 4.5 billion years ago. So a lot of things are destroyed, especially evidence of maybe life because of that rock cycle due to the heat and pressure that we already talked about during the rock cycle. 
So a big uh, thing with uh, life forms is cyanobacteria, which we talked about already. You guys know that's the first organism that started producing O2 that happened during the Precambrian time. Um, it created the ozone layer, which um, actually that should be O3, or now I guess oxygen created the uh, ozone layer, which is O3. Um, pretty much allowing more complex life forms to evolve uh, because then we can block those UV radiations. We had a lot of invertebrates, so no backbone. So you start to see things like jellyfish, worms uh, during this pre-Cambian time. So very simple life forms, nothing too complex quite yet. So the pre-Cambian time, how did it end? Well, um, it, some type of extinction. We're not completely sure because it was so long ago. Um, that it happened that we can't really take yes. So we're not really sure how it uh, ended, but some sort of uh, extinction occurred and then a new organism outcompeted the old organisms during the Precambrian time. So the Paleozoic era, era that's the era of ancient life, it's known as, it's anywhere from four, four, excuse me, 544 million years ago to 248 million years ago. How life changed, uh, it's mostly marine organisms. So a lot of sea creatures, uh, we have those uh, triobites and shelled organisms were common, um, and we can see fossil remains during that time of these organisms. So a lot of marine life during the Paleozoic time. We saw the evolution of vertebrates or backbones. Uh, we started seeing forests appear with gymnosperms. Uh, so those are plants that only produce seeds, no flowers quite yet. Um, vertebrates began adapting to land. So this is where we saw um, pretty much all those marine organisms start to move on the land and evolve. And that's how we got amphibians and frogs. Um, and yeah. So how did the Paleozoic era end? Um, well, uh, we had, uh, again, we don't know. It could have been a huge volcano. It could have been an asteroid, a comet collision, um, climate change, who knows. But 90% of marine life uh, died off and 70% of land species died off. So that's probably the biggest thing to know during this. The Paleozoic time period and the extinction event that occurred was uh, one of the biggest that we had. The Mesozoic era, era, that's the middle life, uh, pretty much the middle of, uh, I guess, life on Earth. And that's uh, 248 million years ago, to, uh, 65 million years ago. How did life change? Well, we've talked about Pangaea. That's where we started pa uh, Pangaea start to uh, divide itself, uh, divide into two landforms. We saw reptiles start to form and then dinosaurs start to evolve and come about during the Mesozoic era. Uh, Era. So this is really the age of the dinosaurs and reptiles. During the Mesozoic area, uh, we started seeing some birds appear. Uh, this is Arctiopterus. It's the um, uh, it's pretty much the between uh, dinosaurs and birds and how they started forming. It's actually the, f uh, the first known organism to have feathers instead of uh, um, scales. Uh, mammals started to appear during the Triassic, but very small animals like this little guy here, like very rodent-esque. Angiosperms, and these are flowering plants, start to evolve during the Cretaceous period. So now we have flowers start to ever, uh, evolve um, and kind of starting to see the world that we now see uh, today a little bit with forest. The Mesozoic era, um, again, we had another mass extinction. How this era, we do know how this era uh, eventually died off, and that was due to a comet and an asteroid collision causing a bunch of dust and smoke uh, to block out the sun. So if you block out the sun, you're just uh, blocking out any of the food that the these organisms eat because these uh, most of it is plant life. So they're going to have to um, eat that, and if there's no sun for these plants, then obviously the plants will eventually die off. So some survived, but most uh, didn't. A lot of the mammals survived. Um, but the dinosaurs did not, obviously. So the Cenozoic era, which we're currently in, that's 65 million years ago uh, to present day. How did life change? Well, um, we have uh, mountains building. So we have our Alps, Indies, uh, the um, Himalayas. We had grassland expansion. We had more mammals becoming larger and become more like grazing uh, mammals, uh, like your cow, um, 
I don't know, a bunch of, bunch of different other organisms that can graze, uh, horses, for example. Um, eventually, the continent started to split even further. Um, so instead of having Pangaea with two landforms, now we're starting to see all the other continents start to split and evolve, and now we see it today. Um, marsupials involved, so that involves your koala, your uh, wombat, your kangaroo, um, and they kind of have pouches. That's what makes a, a marsupial special. They have a little pouch that they can carry their young in. And also, uh, probably one of the most important things is us. We started to evolve during this time, and you started seeing humans start to come into play uh, from the Cenozoic area, obviously believed to evolve from uh, chimps. And that's it.